They just make me so upset. Oh God, that is a beautiful lady right there. I hope she's a lesbian. Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be taking it back to our roots we're gonna be watching the kissing booth now if you didn't know the kissing booth was actually a wattpad story we love those i know we have that's like a new common thing wattpad stories being turned into movies i guess they're just running out of ideas that was really mean but the Wattpad story got turned into a book and got published and then it got turned into a movie on Netflix. This was a very popular movie that came out about one or two years ago. This was one of the first movie commentaries I did. It was really bad. I wasn't wearing any foundation in it or like any face makeup. I was just wearing like eyeliner and eyelashes. So. It was a weird time for me. That was like also when I was trying to figure out how to do commentaries and how to speak with the movie. So it was just all around rough. So I watched the trailer for it and it's basically the boyfriend goes to college and they have the whole long distance struggle. It's very original, I would say. <laughs> so anyways, without any further ado, let's get started. I also don't know why she has his motorcycle because wouldn't he still need that or want that in college? Watched Ultimate Frisbee at the Beach House. Watched 80s movies with Lee and Rachel. Watched Lee fall completely in love. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I totally forgot about his girlfriend from the kissing booth that they had like two scenes of development. Rule number 19, always go to the same school as your bestie. Oh God. And for us, when it comes to college, that means the University of California at Berkeley. They are so damn stupid. Are we gonna have to look at that wig throughout the entire movie? First day of school and everything seems her wig somehow. just like they should have just made her have her character cut off her hair because it doesn't look good Yay! i gotta go mm, love you love you love it more. I I'm, gonna I'm just watching the same movie i'm just watching the same movie again this is not i'm just over it <laughs> oh okay oh my god the girl best friend. Ella's the girl best friend. Oh, my dog just died. Hey, Elle. Hey, Tuffin. Oh, it's the sorry, rapist. I was really no, but we didn't what? No, I really don't want the rapist I, I to be in this movie. Um, she's in school, dumbass. You know school hours. You should know the time difference and know that she is in school. Elle Evans, a distant phone call for you in the office. It's your father. Why are all the voices so weird? Like, are the voices supposed to be a comedic part of the movie? Because I don't feel like it's that funny for the movie. You know what I mean? Space, space. I don't, I don't want space. Space is not what I want. I told you, I, I don't want space. I want you. I, I want you around me all the time. I want you with me. Why didn't y'all figure this out before he left? This feels like a very important conversation that should have happened before he left. So I'm redoing my personal essay. Sucks. I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a comedy movie more than like a dramatic movie, but like the comedy is not really hitting like it should be, you know? Like it definitely does seem like a Nickelodeon comedy, but even then some of the Nickelodeon comedies were really funny. Tufts, Boston College. And Harvard. Yes, and Harvard. I swear to God if she makes him into Harvard at the end of this movie, I'm going to be so upset. Hi! Hi! Hello, boy. Oh, wow, she is, that is a beautiful lady right there. Now I'm gonna regret this. She's one of the boys, Elle, just chill. I bet you were one of the boys. Oh, she's a lesbian. Like, I love, like, over jealous girlfriend finds out that the girlfriend that's in the boy group is a lesbian not even a boy group just the girl that's hanging out with their boyfriend is a lesbian like that's so fun god i hope she's a lesbian i'll take the big guy 
Oh, the rapist, yes. I love how that he's a recurring character and loved upon everyone in this movie now, even though he sexually assaulted her. Uh... Oh yeah, the rapist took off his shirt. Oh my god. Like, why do- why does everyone- everyone literally witnessed him sexually assaulting her in public. And no one was like, that's fucked up. They were all like, oh my god, she's so embarrassing, her ass was out and he grabbed it. Oh my god, half developed gay romance in this movie so they can be inclusive. They watched my video. I like how, like, in the last movie, they acted like minorities didn't exist, and now they're like, Here you go! Other- other races exist. We're inclusive. Other sexualities exist. We're inclusive. Like, oh my god! Like, thinking about them having to, like, choreograph this to get it down literally <laughs> just, like, it bothers me. And there it was a way to make a boatload of money that could help cover the cost of school in Boston. I just- this is like a weird trope to continue having in like movies of like the contest being real because no one sees that in real life and is like this is real like I don't believe it you know I just move on with my life and get a job you know. Do you think that you're maybe just taking this like a little bit too seriously? It is serious. The I didn't- I didn't want to say anything before but I really need the money for school. So he wasn't gonna get any of it? <laughs> she was just gonna use it for herself? She was like, you're gonna train with me, but I'm going to take all the money. And we were wondering if you'd be one of our kissers this year. No. No. Why no? I have my reasons, because I don't want to just kiss random people, because that's weird. I'm a dummy, I'm a make you believe. The fact that, like, I know this is actually kind of hard because whenever I did it, I didn't know how to like. M suddenly, I didn't know how to move my feet. Oh so. shit, Rachel! What? No, 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 no! I was supposed to hang out with Rachel tonight. I have to leave right yeah, now. Okay. Yeah, go, go. Oh, bye. Girl, I feel so bad for Rachel. She literally had like two scenes last movie, and now she just keeps getting pushed aside for L. Girl, L, you have a boyfriend. You don't need him right now always inviting herself or just showing up. She's lonely. I can't just tell her that we don't want her hanging out with us. But you can leave me standing at the movie theater for 45 minutes just fine? Break up with him. Break up with him. Break up with him. Damn. Oh my god, he has a handful of ass right now. No just a way. handful of you ass. No Wanna break from the ass? Yes. My favorite thing is people also applauding them for doing this movie like after they broke up because they were actually together. And everyone was like, oh my god, props to them for being so professional and like doing this movie and not like, I don't know, not doing the movie. And I'm like, okay, but it's like kind of their job. Like they're kind of professionals. They should be doing that. Waiting for the telephone to ring. But I'm sure the editor gets paid a lot because he's doing a lot of work right now. Like, he is- he's a lot of work. Or she! Oh my god, that was so... sexist of me. I'm sorry. That, like, I'm, that's not even me being like, oh my god, it was sexist of me. Like, that was actually sexist of me. I'm very sorry. I just keep thinking about how kind of, like, different my life is right now. You know what I mean? How is it different? Like, literally from the last movie, you were still just going to school. Other than that, you were applying to colleges. They just make me so upset. Oh my god. Why the in-between scenes, though? Why are we cutting back and forth? Like, you could have just done that kiss scene in the street to move on to this. But, like, does anyone want to see this sex scene? No. Nice to see you. Hello, gorgeous. What is him with touching people's butt? That was like a little bit too much hand right there. I'm sorry. That is a little bit too much hand there, buddy. Too much hand for no. She's not being jealous. That was that was a lot of hand. I know his hands are big, but he has like 
It's too bad this one here is so ugly though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. British girl is British girl's the best friend. And then Elle is being the best friend for Rachel. Oh my god, she's seeing the parallels that she was doing with Lee that this girl is doing with No. Oh my god. That's karma in the best sense I've ever seen. <laughs> That's so funny. You should know that we're less interested in meeting the person you think we want you to be and far more interested in getting to know the person you really are. I don't believe that in the slightest. Colleges are a system that is not made to find out who the real you is. They want a traumatic backstory. They want all your trauma. They say, give me all that trauma. Give me all that. Give me something traumatic that happened in your life for some character development. I would like your character development as a human being and that's it. I don't care about the real you. Like, they literally don't care about the real you. They want your money. Oh my god, she's going through his phone. I don't know. Crossing the line, crossing the line. I don't care what you do. Go on the phone is a big no-no for me. You ask them. You ask them. So it's difficult to know what you want in five years. When that curve comes flying at you and- Writing your college essay about a heartbreak is- <laughs> Why is that the funniest thing that's happened in this movie? Writing your college essay about a breakup. And imagine being the person that reads it like, what the fuck? Then I believe you. Good. I hope he's a cheater. No, I don't hope he's a cheater. No, I like, I hope something more juicy happens this. I can't- I can't leave this movie thinking that he's a good character, you know? Like, I don't want to. I don't think I can leave this movie thinking anyone's a good character. Lee sucks, she sucks, he sucks, they all suck. I'm just bitter right now. I'm, I'm not being very forgiving with this movie at all, and I'm sorry for it. Wait, why is he have ver- why is he verified and he only has 2,000 followers? All right. I just can't get this. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I know you will. I know how much this means to you. Why did they get him the smallest shirt they could yeah, find? <laughs> they literally got him hey, such a small shirt with such a wide neck. So, how was it with Noah? I think he might be... I wanted to tell Lee everything about Noah, the earring, even my interviews. But honestly, I didn't even know where to begin. It was so fun. Yeah, we had a really good time. You guys are not best friends. I'm sorry. Like... The amount of times they don't tell each other stuff because they're too afraid to hurt each other's feelings or be vulnerable is like too much for best friends. And the rules that get in the way of them being best friends literally all the time is so dumb. Like, if you have rules for being best friends, they should not come in between your friendship this much. <laughs> when you're trying to make like life decisions. There you are. I'm here. Why does she not like him? Like, I feel like he's not as douchey as she's making him out to be. Like, Noah was way more of a douche than he is. He's just, like, a normal human being that's like, Hey, I'm not gonna do your kissing booth because I don't want to. And I kind of don't want to do this. Never told you this before, but... Uh, I love you, Rachel. That is so awful. Imagine your first I love you to be through the intercom of the school. That is so embarrassing. Would so would you please text me a smiley face emoji for yes and a poop emoji for no, please? <laughs> emoji humor. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I do hope they end up different people at the end of this movie. I hope they both end up with non-white people at the end of this movie. I can't believe, as an audience, we have to sit through her wig this entire movie. Like, that's so insulting to us. Like, I wish they just kept her short hair and they were like, she had a moment during the summer and she shaved all her hair off. Like, I would've been fine with that. I'd've been like, I totally understand. But no, we have to stare at the bad wig. Not exactly rich, so this is kind of like my moonshot to. You're not exactly rich. How are you going to private school? You are some type of wealthy to go to private school. Because if you were not 
rich or wealthy, you would not be going to a private school unless you had a scholarship or some connections or something. And the house you live in is not for poor people. You were trying to... Why is she suddenly, like, the poor girl in this school, in this movie, when she lives, into, she lives in a rich house and she goes to a private school? I don't see it like that. You can't really hold on to someone. Because the tighter you hold on to them, the more they want to slip away. All you can do is love them and make sure they know that you're never going to slip away. What the heck? Why is that, like, kind of good? That's kind of, like... Good. Why did I like kind of like that? Beautiful, honestly. That was like kind of good. Like I didn't think that was cheesy. I thought that was actually like a good line. Is she gonna like cheat on Noah because she thinks he's cheating on her and then Noah finds out that she cheated on him even though he didn't cheat on her and she's gonna be like the self-sabotaging protagonist that we all don't like. <laughs> but since we're both here, would you like to dance? Um, yeah, that would be really nice. Well, you don't have now to... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this is very intimate for people that know that she's in a relationship. They need to respect Rachel more because I feel like they are being so mean to her and she's just like living her life and they're like, oh my god, look at her friendship, like it's so cool and it's like, come on, aren't you gonna include her? Like she's an afterthought for you, come on, you're being so mean to her. Oh my god. Really are. Let the go. masking. Like, this is not the musical dance scene that you're trying to make it out to be. This is not good. These are not the effects you want for this scene either. Oh my god, what the fuck is she doing? Oh my, this is like over editing to the extreme. Am I right or am I right? Like, that was too much. It would have been much better if they just showed the dance. We didn't need the flashbacks. Is everything okay? Yeah, um... She needs to stop doing that. <laughs> she needs to stop saying it's okay. Just tired, we've been rehearsing. Okay, well, uh, I just wanted to wish you luck for your competition tomorrow. You remembered. He's not your boyfriend anymore, I'm sorry. I've decided to end your relationship for you because it is not a relationship anymore. This is depressing. I literally thought this was gonna be in a mall. Yeah, no way you guys are winning. They're really good. Why do I feel like, oh my God, he's there. He's like, He's like, oh my god, it's so intimate. What did I just walk in on? They kiss at the end of their performance and they get eliminated because that's illegal. It doesn't look like the intimate performance I saw like 20 minutes ago. Not even 20 minutes ago. Like, it doesn't look like the intimate performance I saw like five minutes ago. Oh, that's the intimacy I saw right there. He's like, what the fuck? <gasps> she did that. You know the cameras are on, what the fuck? Hello, I'm Tony, I'm one of your judges tonight. Don't tell me that they're gonna win just on spot. They still have to go through the scores. It doesn't happen that quick. It's so exciting. <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> he literally... <laughs> <laughs> Like, why did they win? Like, they barely contemplated their score before, like... I, I'm sorry, look, I can't, I just can't deal with this right now. So we're just gonna ignore what's happening between us? I'm really sorry, can we just please talk about this later? Girl, you're the one that initiated it. You did that. He did not kiss you, you kissed him. This is all your decision. This was no one else's fault but yours. 
And he doesn't get any of the money. That's like so disappointing. Dude, what the hell? Rachel is still so pissed at me. Yeah, well, that would make two of us. Why are you mad? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the answer is in here. Lee, yours is the least of our worries right now. It is the least valid out of everyone that's upset at her, I'm gonna be honest. Of course, people aren't always making decisions alone. Lee. You know, sometimes they need convincing to do the really stupid shit. Lee! You just shut your mouth. You know what, you need to leave Lee out of this. Why are you acting like I'm the one that did something wrong? Noah, you, you don't wanna go there right now. Oh my God, she sounded just like Kristen Stewart in Twilight. <laughs> They're having, by the way, they're also having dinner in broad daylight. <laughs> Rage. Just thought I'd point that out. It is so bright outside. I can't be in a relationship with you and Elle anymore. It's just too much. Yeah, fuck you, Lee. I don't like Lee. He sucks. Rachel, you deserve better. You deserve a girlfriend. I'll tell you that. You do. Oh my god, Rachel and Elle, enemies to lovers. That's so cute. Super duper thankful that um that I found Chloe's earring. Oh my god. Where did you find it? Under Noah's bed. This is so dramatic, I love it. Like, I do literally like it. Like, it's kind of dramatic and fun. Hey, guys, I think that maybe we you should know what? just- This has been lovely. Chloe, always a pleasure, but I think it's time for me to head out too, so- Don't, don't get mad at me for kissing some beautiful non-white boy. You kiss some beautiful non-white girl. I guess we just don't like each other because we're both Caucasian. I don't know what I just did. I don't know what I just said. Lonely, you know. I, I didn't realize that I was even cock blocking. Not sure if I would have phrased it like that, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, please get together. I'm I'm I literally just set it up without even trying. Like that works. Everyone's just like getting really mad about things that like don't matter. Like I'm sorry, like they're like overreacting. Like we can't act like everyone is not overreacting in the situation. Except for Rachel, I feel like she was pretty valid or whatever. You should have told me about applying to Harvard. I know. I'm sorry. I thought you wanted to go to Berkeley. I do. Okay, let's just talk about how Lee is so fucking stupid. <laughs> like, can we just talk about how these freaking rules are like God's words to him, like he needs to get over, he needs to grow up. He's annoying and he needs to get over the rules because he acts like he's still five years old about these rules. Like, come on, grow up, move on, learn that people are gonna do different things in, with their life when they grow older. You need to get over yourself, you little bitch. Sorry, like that was like mean, but like, come on, he's not a good character. Noah. Oh, he's developed as a character from last movie, where in the last movie he would just beat up someone if he was angry, but now he goes to Harvard and he's mature. Even though he's still acting like a little whiny baby right now, I'm sorry. I just don't like his character. Like, there- I feel like his reactions are valid, but I just don't like him. LA Country Day Fiesta Fundraiser! How is Marco getting, like, the short end of the stick right here when he really didn't do anything wrong? No, he didn't do anything wrong at all. Why does the booth look worse this year? For people that have kissed each other before, this is not a very good kiss. <laughs> and like, now this is gonna be listed under the LGBT film category. That's what they were trying to do. Now I understand what they're trying to do. This is gonna be considered an LGBT film. Wow, wonderful. What is this kissing booth? The kissing booth is a matchmaking booth now? Can't deny there's something real between us. I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe we just got caught up in the moment or something. Cause I please, think there's- No, you guys were dating and then you had your first kiss with each other. You did not get caught up in the moment. You were going on dates We've and then you kissed each other for the first time no. but you're not the one that is so mean like imagine leading someone on like that like i know she didn't try to but like she kissed him like come on she was like i just need to kiss you to find out if you were not the one and you're not the one sure that he knows that i'm not slipping away oh my god using his words against him is so mean right now like that's so mean right now to do that to him Oh, I'm having like second lead syndrome right now. 
no talking needed. No needing to like get out or anything. Just it's fine. When I started the school year, I was pretty lonely. I wasn't really doing so well in my classes. How the fuck did you get in Harvard? Like, how did he get into Harvard? Did he Lori Laughlin his way into Harvard or? <laughs> I know he used to make fun of you and Lee and your rules. But I see what you guys have. And I guess a part of me just kind of wanted to have the same thing with her. Oh, we're not gonna have stupid rules because that is immature. Is the kissing booth three gonna be like the same thing that happened in this one, but with Noah having a best friend now? Like they make a list, they're best friends, and then Noah spends all his time with Chloe, and then Elle is all upset about it, and she's like, oh my god, you're cock blocking me. And it's the whole thing and it just keeps going on until we're at like the kissing booth five and then the kissing booth universe becomes like the fast and furious, you know? I want to be my best friend's laughter. <laughs> All those things together. Like, I feel like that is such a sucky college essay though. Like, they're like, who are these people? And why? Like, who are these names? <laughs> Like, this literally has no significance to your college essay. Like, it just sounds bad to me. I might have to wait until I get where I'm going to figure that out. Oh my god, don't tell me. She's gonna, like, open the... Like, it, it's gonna be a cliffhanger on, like, which college she gets into, and then they're gonna make the kissing booth three. I really wish she didn't get into either of them. That's so disappointing that she got into both of them. I'm sorry, there's no way that college essay was gonna get her into Harvard. You know, like, no, like it was, that was not gonna happen. Like, Noah should already not be in Harvard. He said he was struggling with the classes, like he's not, like, no, like, their intelligence, like, academically is not a part of the movie at all. Why are they putting these top colleges? as their choices that they're making decisions from. Like they could have picked some random sports college for Noah and they could have picked some other random college for, in Boston, like across the country for Elle. And like, why are we picking these like known school names? Like why does that have to be a part of it? Like I know like in the book while writing i know the author was young and she probably just picked harvard because it was like a cool it was like one of the best call it's like a well-known name like everyone's gonna know it like no one's gonna know like a little small college in boston they're gonna know harvard but like oh uh, like this doesn't play a role into the movie because we all know you have to be really smart to get into harvard and if you're gonna make harvard one of the choices you should make the academics part of the story because you don't just throw in Harvard as a college just for funsies. Like she was not studying throughout this movie. She was doing an essay that was bad. She was writing a bad essay. I've seen video essays like Alex Meyer's video essays on 13 Reasons Why is better than her essay to get into Harvard. Like, I feel like Alex Meyer's 13 Reasons Why video essay could get him into Harvard. More than it could get that essay could get her into Harvard. This movie made me upset. Every single character was even more unlikable than they were in the first movie. Except for Rachel. I like Rachel because I think she was the actual victim in the story. The, the biggest enemy was the wig on Joey. Like, <laughs> just tell- just cut her hair. Like, I don't know. Lee was a horrible character. Like, I don't know how he- like, I know he was- bad in the first movie but like he was ass in this one and noah like also bad like everyone's just so bad and like i see people that are really liking this movie like they're like this is a good movie and i'm like maybe compared to the first one but like no one is likable in this story i don't know what happened to writing characters that people could like anyways that's it for today guys if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends make sure you guys comment letting me know make sure you comment letting me know your thoughts on the movie because i know there's kind of some mixed opinions about this like i haven't seen just like an overwhelming like spew of hate for it online i've actually seen like mixed reviews on it so i'm excited to see what you guys think and 
I'm a little bit worried about the Kissing Booth fans yelling at me again because they did yell at me last time. <laughs> follow me on Instagram at tcallevel and follow me on Twitter at leveltrin. Make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos from me and turn on the notifications bell as well if you want to be notified every single time I post a video. That's going to be it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>